out and do an earth cache uh, quite a fair way away from home. It's just by the beach and there's these amazing formations here. Uh, all different colours, there's red and white and all of that and uh, this earth cache is somewhere down here uh, but we need to walk all the way around there on the trail or down onto the beach uh, but it looks like you can get at it from this way but yeah, by the beach today don't do that very often so I'll see you in a bit so I apologise for the wind uh, but here is the last little spot to look out and get a view of the uh, coast and also this formation here there's a little sign down there but my sign is 243 meters that way and I think that thing there is what I'm looking for also, it's meant to be called the sugar loaf so uh, yeah I think that's it so, uh, there's a little boardwalk attracting down here so Okay, so I'm now approaching the sugar loaf and uh, the flies out here. Really annoying, it's a hot day. I should have brought a hat with me. But the flies are really nasty. So the first sign I need for this earth cache is just to my left. And I'm just going to show you the sugar loaf. There it is. So uh, that looks pretty cool. Nice. I'll go up there, up that sort of stairs. A little bit after I collect the info off this sign. So I'll see you later. Okay, so here is the sugar loaf. I have answered the questions. Uh, it was a very easy one. It was just two simple questions that I got off the signboard. And I had to take a photo of my GPS and then a photo of me at ground zero. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So there's a few more in the area, so I'll head over to them. See you soon. It's a bit windy. Very windy. Okay, so we've made it round the rock to the side and down here, it's actually pretty sneaky. Look here and move this rock. And then this rock here has a container glue to the bottom, so uh, awesome hide right there and an absolutely stunning location. Uh, yeah, amazing. There's a little bit of a cave down here too. It doesn't go very deep, it's just pretty much a big crack in the rock. But yep, I'll get that signed and we'll get moving on to another one. Okay, so this next one, I'm in a bush and it's just at the base of this little sign here. So uh, I'll keep on moving. Okay, so we're by this lake now and we've got a 400 meter walk uh, down following this waterway maybe. Yeah, it looks like it follows the waterway. Uh, but yeah, straight ahead. And uh, sorry about the sun there. It's a bit sunny today. Anyway, we're gonna go down through here and into that park. Okay, so yet again, I'm by the side of the ocean and on this steep boardwalk that's pretty much going off the side of a cliff. And uh, I've jumped off the side of this boardwalk here uh, and we spent ages trying to find this little geocache and we were about to give up when... I, so I decided to go off the edge of the boardwalk and underneath it, I found the cache just hanging there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It was such a long walk in, I'm glad we found it because we were about to give up and it was been a big waste of time. Anyway, on to another one. Uh, that one took longer than expected, but see you very soon. Here's the next one. Okay, so that last year cash uh, was really, really nasty. Uh, I had to scramble down this area with a steep slope and uh, then climb down a few like vertical rocks and then there were some dogs across the valley 
Uh, there was a pit bull that was howling itself at the fence, uh, barking its head off, and then there was a border collie that was barking, and the fence didn't look very strong. Um, anyway, what better time for the geocache to roll all the way down to the base of the valley. So I tried climbing down, and then I noticed it was going to be a bit more difficult than I thought. And then one of the neighbours from a house across the valley came and was looking at me, so I just sort of left and went back to the car and waited for a bit. And I had to go all the way back there, climb down into the creek, get the container, and climb all the way back up. So now it's bordering on getting dark. Uh, you can probably see the video quality has dropped. And I am at this geocache here, and this is the last one I'm going to film because after this time, yeah, it's a bit pointless to film in the dark. So I'll start looking and I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, shortly after I stopped filming, behind the bit, uh, behind this big rock here, there's these two little metal plates. So I moved them back and I saw that little jar sitting down in there. So, that is the last geocache that I'm going to film. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and so I'll see you next time.